On Saturday, September 15th, at approximately 12.30 p.m., our town suffered a tragedy as a fatal accident came to the lives of two congregants of young Israel. A vehicle driven by an East Brunswick resident veered off the road and drove onto the sidewalk, killing two pedestrians and injuring three others. The driver of the vehicle was also injured. I joined with their families and friends in praying for the recovery and for the comfort of the friends and families of those who lost their lives. The investigation into the accident is still ongoing by the Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office, and any inquiries related to that should be addressed to Jim O'Neill. I, however, have been receiving letters, emails, and phone calls from residents voicing concern over what happened and questioning whether it could have been prevented. The accident occurred near the intersection of Dunham Quarter Road and Hardenburg Lane. That portion of DCR has an advisory posted speed limit of 25 miles an hour. This advisory is in effect from approximately 50 yards west of Temple until Hardenburg Lane. As many will recall, there was an accident on Dunham's Corner Road in March of 2011. That accident resulted in three pedestrians being struck and injured. An investigation revealed that the driver was not at fault and speed was not an issue. After that accident, I worked with representatives from Young Israel, as well as our Public Safety Department and the Planning and Engineering Department, to determine what, if anything, could be done to provide further protection to the residents living and walking in that area. Some of the things we did were, one, we conducted a speed study to see what the speed of the average car was traveling down Dunham's Corner Road. It was determined that most individuals do not speed on DCR. The average speed was below the 40 mile an hour posted limit. Secondly, we installed new and brighter lighting at the intersections of Dunham's Corner Road and Tall Oaks and Colonial. Third, we enacted a zero tolerance in that area for anyone violating the motor vehicle code. Fourth, we've increased police presence in that area. Fifth, we repainted the crosswalk signs in the road to make them more visible to cars and pedestrians. Sixth, we asked young Israel congregants when walking to and from services during the twilight hours that they wear the reflective vests or other markers to make them more visible to passing motorists. Seventh, the township has worked with young Israel to design, purchase, and install illuminated signs at crosswalks to advise drivers. Eighth, we have obtained a public safety pedestrian grant to educate drivers and pedestrians on the rules of the road. The speed limit in that area of Dunham Corner Road is 40 miles an hour, except for the advisory 25 miles per hour limit, 50 yards after the temple until Hardenburg Lane, the location of this accident. I've once again asked Public Safety Director William Krauss and Greg Pakulski of the Department of Planning and Engineering to conduct a road traffic study on Dunham's Corner Road. Based on the results of those studies, I'm hoping to be able to present several options, including installing flashing signs at the crosswalks, target enforcement during those hours when congregants are walking to Temple, among others. State law prevents me from arbitrarily changing speed limits on any road. Based on the studies we did in 2011, we were unable to change the speed based on the state regulations because speed was not to be found to be an issue on Dunham's Corner Road. I was there with the community on Saturday. I have seen and heard the concerns of the residents over the past two days. My primary concern is for the safety of all of our residents. What happened was a tragedy, and I will continue to work hard to ensure that the residents of our community feel safe. I want to remind drivers and pedestrians that every time you get behind the wheel or walk on the sidewalks and streets of East Brunswick, that we are all partners in safety. Thank you.